Ecology of Progratodes Obliquus, a butterfly fish endemic to mesophotic ecosystems of St. Peter and St. Paul's archipelago. Located in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, about 1,000 kilometers from the northeastern Brazilian coast, lies the St. Peter and St. Paul's archipelago, the smallest and most isolated archipelago in the Atlantic Ocean. Among approximately 80 reef fish species that inhabit the oligotrophic waters of this archipelago figures the endemic Prognatodes obliquus. This butterfly fish is commonly found in depths below 40 meters, living among branches of black corals. In the present study, we bring innovative information about the ecology of this endemic butterfly fish. By using rebreather diving, remote operated videos and submarines, we were able to identify the vertical distribution of Prognatodes obliquus. Also, we were able to record several short videos to study this species' preferential foraging substrate. We identified that Prognatodes obliquus forages mostly over sediment and polyketa tubes, indicating that black coral is a substrate not used as prey. We also sampled a few individuals to identify the preferential prey ingested by this species through stomach content analysis. We found that polychaetes were the most important item in the diet of Prognatodes obliquus, followed by crustaceans, cnidarians and bryozoans. Black corals were ingested in a very low rate, corroborating that these cnidarians are used by Prognatodes obliquus as refuge, rather than feeding resource. Although there's no previous information about fishes eating cerientarians in the Atlantic Ocean, we found cnidocytes of Isaracnanthus in the gut content of Prognatodes obliquus. This is the first record of a cerientarian for the St. Peter and St. Paul's archipelago. Surprisingly, even though this is a relatively deep water species in a very remote location, we found microplastics in its diet, showing that anthropogenic pressures reach fishes even here. The first record of a cerientarian in the St. Peter St. Paul archipelago highlights the importance of trophic studies, which bring information not only about the studied species, but also about the environment where they live.